time is it? Late. Savannah? Is that you? What's wrong? I got a case for you. Can it wait until later? I'm sorry, it can't. There's been a kidnapping. A girl, just a little older than you. <sighs> Shouldn't the police be taking care of this? There's only so much they can do, and she needs to be found before something bad happens. What do you mean? The call came in for me, but I can't go. Thornton Hall is a dangerous place for people like me. Ghost hunters, you mean? So people think it's haunted? Uh-uh. They know. Jessa needs someone who ain't afraid to run after her. That ain't me. What I'm asking of you is dangerous. After everything you did for me in Japan, I'll do it. Thank you. Drive to the airport now. I'll arrange a ticket. And Nancy, I didn't call you just because you're a good detective. I called you because you're a skeptic. Thornton Hall is no place for anyone who believes. Well, then you called the right detective. I'm serious. You think long and hard about that before you get on that plane. If what you find on the island is going to get to you, don't go. Stay home. Don't worry. I'm on the case. sure about this? I am. Watch yourself around the Thorntons. They earned their bad reputation. Well, thanks for being concerned. I should be okay. Well, it depends who's here. Hope for your sake Wade's not skulking around. Or that loony bin reject Harper. But it's Charlotte you best watch for. Black Rock Island belongs to her now. Has ever since the night the fire took her. Take care now. Sorry. Of course you're not. I'm just tired. No, don't be. I'm Nancy. You're here to help? Savannah Woodham called me in. She seems to think there's a supernatural explanation to Jessalyn's disappearance. <sighs> a couple of days back, that would have earned an eye roll. I'm Colton, the fiancé. Welcome to Thornton Hall. I'd extend you all the courtesies of the Thornton clan, but we seem to be about 20 years too late for that. You might need this. I found it in the house. Is this Jessalyn's? Yeah. It's dead, though. And the charger got mangled by something. Maybe you could channel all that inquisitive energy into seeing if you can get that old phone back up and running. Were you and Jessalyn getting married soon? Yes. Any chance this is just pre-wedding jitters? She might have had second thoughts about the wedding. Trust me, everyone does. But she never let anyone worry about her like this. She loved her family more than anything. Is it safe to assume you had second thoughts about the wedding? I never said that. True, but you implied it. You said, trust me, everyone does. I know. I remember it like it was just moments ago. Goodbye. Later. It looks like the painting is missing. What's that smudge? It almost looks like something was painted over.
You must be Nancy. Yes, you must be Clara, Jessalyn's mother. Yes. I want you to know that I'm here to help you with anything you need. That's real sweet, hon. I know you may not want me here since you didn't actually call me yourself. So long as you help me find Jessalyn, you're welcome under what's left of my roof here. Who did Jessalyn come here with? Addison. I tried talking to her, but she was a wreck. Here. She'll have calmed down a bit by now. I hope. What do you think happened to Jessalyn? You wouldn't know by the look of this dump, but we're worth a great deal of money. Well, that's what I thought this was. But then, no, no. Not yet, at least. I can't believe I'm praying for a ransom note to show up. It's like someone's trying to punish us. Well, why do you say that? Thornton Hall was once something truly beautiful. But so much greed and tragedy built up in these walls that when they started to crumble, I wanted to save this place, make it mine. But I couldn't. So whoever took Jessie wanted us to sit here in this broken down old house waiting for her. Is there any chance Jessalyn's disappearance could be cold feet? My Jessie would never put her family through this nightmare, never. Were things good between Colton and Jessalyn? They had their rows and their romantic dinners, same as any couple. Colton had some... Well, hon, he had some issues, but they worked through them. Why is everyone here? Shouldn't we be out searching for Jessalyn? I closed down the company. The entire staff is out combing the woods. I said, sit home or join the search. You get paid either way. Not a soul stayed home. Jessalyn grew up in the business. She's got a lot of people looking out for her. I can be thankful for that. The police recommended a presence here. They said we'd have a better chance of noticing if something was off here, knowing the place and all. You mentioned that Colton had some issues. What did you mean? To put it delicately, family issues. Never you mind. It has nothing to do with what's going on now. What's the story with the locked room upstairs? It's Charlotte's. We don't go in there. It might help me figure out what's going on, if I could take a look around. Best of luck. That door locked itself up tight the day of her funeral. There's not a key in this world that'll open it. I've tried. See you later. Bye. I need to find something to remove these nails. Hmm. 
Hmm. Huh. What do you think of Clara? She's... she's just a little severe until you get to know her. And then? I wouldn't know. She does seem a little tough to get to know. I think it's an act. Come right down to it, she keeps the family and the company from falling apart. She can't afford to look weak. How did you and Jessalyn meet? I saw her one day and thought, this is the girl I'm going to marry. And then I threw a rock at her face. <laughs> like, metaphorically? No, I was just a kid. I had a very limited game book. She still has a little scar. You can see it when she smiles. <sighs> I'll never live that down. I imagine things improved from there. We became best friends. Then we grew up and became what we are. Or were. Or... So you and Jessalyn must have dated for quite some time. Actually didn't start dating until a year ago. Really? We both dated other people, but nothing worked out. One day Clara had enough and sat us down and said, Everyone knows you're going to get married. Go to it already. Jess was mortified. I took her out to the coast since that always cheered her up. We talked through the night, and by the time the sun came up, it just stopped sounding so silly. I'd better get going. Bye. Addison, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling to see if you can help me with something. Is this about Jessalyn? Yes. I can't. I'm sorry. The sooner we can find out what happened to her, the better her chances of survival. Okay. I'll help with what I can. How's Jessalyn's relationship with Clara? Okay. Maybe a little strained. How so? Jess used to call her Chairman Mom. Behind her back, of course. Do you think Clara could have anything to do with Jessalyn going missing? I don't think Jess was afraid of Clara. But still, I can't say for sure. What do you think of Colton? What's to think? He's always been decent to me and Jess. Can you walk me through what happened the night Jessalyn went missing? She was about to get married, and I think the pressure of it was getting to her. It was supposed to be a night of blowing off some steam. Jess always loved a good scare. She used to make me sneak into scary movies with her when we were kids. So, in a weird way, spending the night searching for a ghost sort of made sense for a bachelorette party. At first, it was really fun. We were running around trying to scare ourselves silly. We were making these recordings like we were on a ghost hunter show. Then, things got strange. Did you notice any secret passages or tunnels while you were at the house? No, but it was so drafty in there, it would surprise me if there weren't. Is there anything you remember that might help me find Jessalyn? No. 
actually... Wait. Hang on. Upstairs, there was this door. Jess was desperate to get it open. Between you and me, I was relieved that she couldn't figure it out. Really? Why? I could feel eyes on me all night long. How was Jessalyn acting that night? She was classic Jess for most of the night. Then something happened? Yeah. We were in the house and suddenly she just screams. And then she's nowhere to be found. What happened? I was alone in the house, jumping at every noise, too afraid to move. It felt like hours. Then she came back. She wouldn't say what had happened. She wouldn't even talk to me. She wanted to be left alone. She went downstairs, and that was that. You said things got strange. What did you mean? It was her and me up in that freezing house, and I remember thinking, I'll never get to sleep. But then I started to feel fuzzy. Fuzzy? Like I was underwater or something. And I noticed Jess was gone again. I wanted to get up and find her, but I, I couldn't move. It was like this invisible hand was pinning me down. I heard a strange voice. It wasn't Jess. Then it was the morning. I was alone and Jess was gone. What were you doing at Thornton Hall that night? A scavenger hunt, but I don't know. There was something strange about it. In what way? Jess was looking for something toward the end of the night. Kind of desperately. It stopped being fun. That's all I know. You said you heard a voice. Charlotte. I'm sure of it. Did she say anything? She sang. I only heard a little bit. Would you consider yourself a believer in the paranormal? If you'd asked that last week, I would have made some crack about Bigfoot. And now? And now I'm going to say that I don't believe. Because I'm afraid if I let myself believe, I'll be opening a door that no one can close. I'd better get going. Bye. Did that.